I am pumped for for more iCarly. Uh, just kind of starting uh, from because the first two episodes that I got to see, uh, I, I greatly enjoyed. And it seems like Freddie and Carly's relationship is still uh, very much complicated. I feel like is the best way uh, to describe it. Uh, what can you tease about their relationship and how it changes in season three? And will fans see a major decision made from them kind of either way, Nathan? Yeah, I, I think we can safely say from the, the trailer and everything else, obviously there is going to be progress <laughs> in that relationship there's no there's no getting around that anymore we knew at the end of season two with how that ended that there was going to have to be some sort of reconciliation of being told to their faces that you two are in love with each other so we couldn't we couldn't retcon it we couldn't pretend like it didn't happen we couldn't really play the will they won't they anymore we have to answer the question will they or won't they which was a big undertaking and kind of scary for something that's been going on for 15 years, you know, that a lot of people have built up in their heads of their expectations of what they want, what they hope for, um, and what they're uh, they're expecting to see in the mid-season um, of that third season. So I, I definitely guarantee you those first two episodes are, are not the end of it. Um, they have to figure out how to uh, find a path forward. And not only that, once they find that path, see how that affects the relationships of the the characters around them, because that's going to have to change too. Awesome. Uh, and, and Lacey, it looks like uh, Harper might, uh, you know, have a new person uh, in the, in the life. Uh, what can you tease about that? And then also just kind of Harper's journey throughout the season as well. What I'm starting to realize is that Harper dates the most on the show. I think she's dated the most people, um, which is funny because I don't date at all. <laughs> I find it very difficult. So um, I love living hey. vicariously through Harper. We might see her in another relationship. We we may not, but you know, tis, we'll see in the future. Um, but um, I think what you're referring to, I think I can say this, is that Tinsley uh, is a new character that used to be my bully, or is still my bully, <laughs> uh, joins the show, and it's actually played by Patty Guggenheim, who is someone I've known for like seven years and worked on another show with, so there's a lot of fun chemistry and rapport, and we'll see if anything happens. Well, and when that's not happening, I just need, um, I need more House of Shea uh, in, <laughs> in my life. I feel like that is just, I, I kind of want a show within a show thing going on uh and and jerry i would like spencer to actually host something uh throughout mm -hmm. throughout the season uh what can you uh you know tell us now. about spencer's journey is you know his kind of struggles to become like a regular guy something we're gonna see never gonna happen through it's never gonna happen <laughs> very irregular stuff he was the thing spencer. he was spencer in the old show he's spencer in the new show like because he didn't really have to grow up he doesn't really have to change <laughs> But you do discover some things about him, what he was doing with his time in between, that I would say, I would dare I say, is, is shocking. Yeah. And I Disturbing. would I would also posit that there are absolutely moments of maturity in Spencer and conversations that you have with multiple characters that are, I would say, outside the norm. There's That's actually true. Some, there's I mean, some pretty serious yeah. chats that you have. So I wouldn't short sell yourself. Spencer grows, like it or not. It's a very dramatic season for like Spencer. A, like You're, a bloom and yeah. onion. He's a blossom. Gross. He truly blossoms. <laughs> but, but also I get lit on fire, so it balances out. You got to balance out. Yeah, you, gotta, you yeah. can't have too much growth. No, 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 no. <laughs> you got to breathe things. People don't like it. <laughs> Spencer's growing. I'm tuning out. <laughs> well, uh, and, and before I go, you know, Jaden, uh, Millicent is, it feels like is kind of the grounding presence uh, at times for, for the group with all the other chaos that's going on uh but has her own goals as well what can you tease about her this season um i think that she definitely does have a very serious conversation with certain people at the towards the end of the season which i can't talk too much about but um i think that her character or my character really really does grow as a person and you know she's going through regular struggles that you would see in everyday life. So I'm hoping that, you know, other kids my age or even adults can relate to my character. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, all the best success. And, uh, you know, fingers crossed season four. Keep this going. So yeah, thank man. you guys so much. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you.